You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nery here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you're new on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So guys, we are really getting into the meat, the meat of the content here. Um, apparently if I've if I've done everything right, we're gonna get a very special scene, and I am very much looking forward to showing that. But anyway, guys, please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes to entertain you. Let's just go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Alarm Chen, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Besides, it would go a long way towards making you less dependent on your dad. Shuichi clutches around his arm. Shuichi's clutch around his arms tightens. Part of me can't help but think he's going to end up puncturing himself like that. And yet, little by little, his gaze begins to soften. I see the tension vanishing from his shoulders. It seems my words managed to reach him to some degree, or at least he isn't outright rejecting them. Even that would already be a big step forward. I, I'll think about it. Yeah, that's all I'm really asking for. Just don't reject me without giving it some thought. Chuichi nods. I, I do want to see her. Just those words by themselves are enough. I feel a weight lifting from my shoulders once I hear that. The validation that I made the right choice. I knew having this conversation wouldn't be easy, but still. Once the tension starts leaving my body, I begin to realize I feel exhausted. The day has barely started and I already feel like I could just crawl into bed and shut down. You alright there, big guy? I don't know. I have a lot of stuff on my mind. At least we were able to talk, right? It still beats not talking at all. Of course. I'm glad I was able to talk to you again. I always am. It felt too awkward to take that first step after what happened. I guess that means I'm lacking maturity, huh? We'll get there. Communication is hard. No kidding. Twitchy places a hand on his chest, taking a deep breath and sighing. I'll admit that it was good to get some things off my chest, but man, I really I feel really beat all of a sudden. I kind of want to point out he barely even spoke in the first place, but that would probably be uncalled for. I'm going to head out now. I have a lot I need to get done before classes start. Thank you for talking to me. It was like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Of course. I'm always here for you. You know that. <coughs> oh, <clears throat> sorry, guys. <clears throat> it's definitely reassuring to hear. Talk to you later. Chuichi walks away, a slight and crooked smile on his face. Despite the overall awkwardness, I definitely feel like we've managed to push forward somehow. And I probably need to figure out what to do with myself until classes start in over an hour. Probably gonna take a nap until then. A few hours later. The bell finally rings, bringing a start to lunch break. I quickly put away my notebook inside my bag, giving one last glance to the notes I'd taken, in, I'd taken today. Somehow I do feel a slight sense of pride for working so hard on these. Sure, it might just have been one day, but I do feel like it's still progress. I'm sure Shuichi would be proud of me for working hard. He's always been the loudest proponent that I need to take my studies more seriously. I still find it a bit pointless since I'm not planning on going to college, but if it makes him happy, then I want to do it. It's not like it's any sweat off my back. I need a glance at the vacant, sneak a glance at the vacant seat next to me. Once again, June has failed to show up for class without a word. He also hasn't really answered the message I sent him yesterday. I really don't like this, but I can't chase after him for some kind for some kind of answer. He'll talk to me when he talks to me. Knowing him, he'll probably just waltz back into class at some point like nothing happened. That is definitely very much like him. The back door to the class is open suddenly, with Sai and Shuichi entering, quickly entering the room. Osu! Pardon the intrusion. The two of them give very different greetings from one another and yet are equally well received. A few of my classmates smile and wave at them, returning their greetings in kind. These, those two, Sai in particular, have always had a lot more ties to our classmates than I did. And to think of it, I really did spend the last three years acting as a lone wolf kind of guy. Sai and Shuichi, and then last year Keisuk. I barely talked to anyone other than these three unless it was some really short conversation about games or food or some such. I really hope I don't end up becoming some kind of antisocial mess. That would really suck. Sup? You two sure do manage to arrive here together pretty often considering you're not even in the same class. Well, our class and the class's neighbor, well, our class's uh, neighbor yours is on both ends, so we have to walk the exact same distance. I guess that makes sense. One second, guys. All right. <coughs> oh God, my throat is so dry. Ah, man, allergies. Man, my allergies have been really bad last couple of days. All right, they both pull up chairs and sit with me, digging their in digging inside their bags for their lunches. <laughs> You're also in a good mood. That's great. Um, what? Don't mind her. Obviously, I know what she means, considering that considering that what she talked to me about yesterday. There's really no reason to bring Shuichi into this. If anything, it'll only make him feel self-conscious. 
So, how are you guys doing? Must be a relief to be done with exams, huh? No need to study like crazy anymore for now. Sort of. You probably shouldn't stop studying regardless. You need to be prepared for the next exams. Come on, there's gotta be a limit to how righteous you can be. Saya fidgets on her seat, humming happily in quite loud fashion. Okay, you're definitely trying to get our attention, aren't you? I'm just really happy! How come? This is the first time we got to hang out, the three of us together, since you guys told me about you two. Uh, huh? That's a reason to be happy. <clears throat> hey, hey, who else knows? Does anyone else know? Aren't you getting a little bit too excited over this? We were hoping not to make this a big deal. If it doesn't set a good precedent for telling the others. Well, well of course I'm going to be... I'm going to be happy. I've known she would... Ugh. Ah, not so loud. Suichi nearly lunges forward from his seat, clasping his hand around Saya's muzzle and keeping her from continuing to talk. Are you trying to- are you trying to out us to everyone? Sorry. <laughs> she mumbles almost in unintelligibly despite her mouth still being forced shut, her brows furrowing a little. I thought my heart was going to stop. Same here. S sorry, I was just a bit overexcited. Just try being a bit care- a bit careful. I know that's a big ask for you, but still. What? It's not a big ask. I can be careful. Yeah, sure. It's because you're careful that I had to hold your mouth shut. One single mistake doesn't establish a precedent. Keep telling yourself that. Anyway, uh, who else did you tell? You're still on that? Of course, it's huge news. No one much. We haven't told anyone else as far as I can recall. Uh, there is Haruki. Oh, right. Haruki? Sorry, I cocks her head to the side. Oh, wait, is that the angry wolf that's in the volleyball team? The same. He's, uh... A handful. To say the least. Out of all the people you could have told, why a guy like that? It's not like we picked him out of the lineup. He had he had uh, figured Shuichi out just like you and meddled. The one you've told me about what he did, meddled is putting it nicely. Hey, hey, don't be like that. The last thing I want to have to deal with now is a pouty, jealous Shuichi. What did he do? From what you told me, Haruki was the one who told him about, well, me. Really? How did he even know? Beats me. Some people are just perceptive like that, I guess. You figured it out on your own, too. I suppose that's true. Yeah, and he used that knowledge to constantly antagonize me. It was just it was just by some miracle that that actually made me conscious of Shuichi. After that, well, it took me a while to get comfortable with the idea. I'm still pissed you knew about it before I had the chance to tell you. On the other hand, if he hadn't found out from someone else, you never would have told him. Well, I guess that's, <clears throat> I guess that's also true. So... In a way, this Haruki guy is to thank for you guys. Or to blame if this blows up in a spectacular fashion. Please don't say that, even as a joke. Come on, don't be so uptight. Tuichi clicks his tongue, shooting me a disapproving look. He really needs to work that stick out of his ass at some point. No sense of humor. And he's the, and he's the only other person who knows? We haven't told anyone else, but I think Aki might be starting to suspect it. He's another one that is really perceptive. Yeah, I'm really lucky Hitoka is as dumb as bricks when it comes to certain things. I'm not sure how she'd take the news if she found out. She does have a huge crush on Yuichikun that's lasted for years now. And I still don't know what I did to deserve it. <laughs> Guess both siblings have the same taste in men, huh? Well, that's apparently true. I still wish you hadn't said it. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, I know, I know. I know what I, I know what I want you to- I know what I want to know. Have you guys kissed yet? Oh. Uh, <laughs> what the- well, yeah. Don't just tell her that stuff. We've been dating for nearly a month. That's much. That much is already a given. I guess. Okay, then I have another question. What is it this time? Sai hunches a little forward, causing us to reflexively do the same, looking like a trio of co-conspirators trying to talk in hushed whispers. Have you guys done it yet? This woman is evil. This woman is absolutely fucking evil! <laughs> okay, there's no way I'm answering that. No way in hell. Aw, oh, come on. It's not a big deal. Go to hell, you perverted Fujoshi. Aw, oh, I don't think it was a bad question. Shuichi's face is redder than I've ever seen it before. If at all possible, it's even redder than it was when we had sex, and that's saying something. I guess with all the horny adrenaline, things become a lot more embarrassing. You okay there? Your brain hasn't turned to mush or anything yet, has it? Shuichi nods slowly. There's no change to his facial expression, though. Come on, take a deep breath. It's not that big a deal. I place a hand on top of his, giving it a faint, reassuring squeeze. Shuichi tries doing as I say, closing his eyes and putting a hand on his chest, breathing in and out deeply a few times. 
That's a really bad question to ask. It's not that bad. You really are a you really are a perverted Fujoshi. Not you too. What else do you expect us to say to that? That's a really vulgar question, no matter how you cut it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for asking. Jeez. You've got no delicacy at all. You really are a crude woman. Hey, that's going a little too far. The three of us continue on a cheerful back and forth for the rest of lunch break, fielding an unending barrage of questions from Saya, who we constantly have to steer away from the subject since she insists on asking risque questions. A few hours later. By the time I'm finally done practicing for the day, the sky is already threatening to go fully dark. I didn't even realize how late it got. Coach had to actually usher a lot of us out because we were staying away we were staying way longer than usual. I guess everyone was raring to, raring to practice again after the extended vacation we took from the club. As soon as I step outside the gym with my bag around my shoulder, I look around and notice someone's figure. Chuichi's leaning against the wall, his bag on one hand and his phone on the on another. He's staring idly at his phone without noticing that I've just gotten out. Chuichi? His ears twitch as soon as I call out to him. He looks up and greets me with a smile, his tail swaying a little behind him. There you are. Did your practice run run late today or something? Sort of. A few of us law a few of us just lost track of time, I suppose. Ha! <laughs> I bet. I came here to ask if you if you, if I could go to your place and spend a little bit of time with you after your after your practice. Uh, oh sh But since it ran late, I'm, I'm it's almost almost my curfew by now. I actually have to run in run in just a bit or I'm gonna be late. Oh, right. Chuichi looks around for a bit before grabbing my wrist and tugging me. But what are you doing? Come with me real quick. Chuichi brings me to a spot between the gym's buildings and the school's outer wall. The shadows of the, two t of the two tall walls make the place seem a bit dark, even with the sun's orange light shining in the sky. There, no one around here. What was that? Oh. Oh yeah, I like that. Give me some more of that, sugar daddy. Shuichi takes one step closer to me, pressing me against the wall and leaving little room for me to stand. He quickly lowers his head and presses his lips against mine. I've already gotten used enough to kissing that, to kissing that as soon as the surprise washes over me, I close my eyes and kiss back. He playfully nibbles on my lips for a second or two before pulling away again. I didn't want to leave without a kiss goodbye first. You dork, you risk being late just for that? Of course, I didn't get a chance to kiss you at all in a while. I need to get it out of my system. To be honest, I could probably fool around with you for a while longer, but then I'd definitely be late. I don't think my heart would be able to handle a makeout session in public just yet. <laughs> That's a good point, too. Well, I'm gonna run now. And I mean that literally. I'm gonna run home so I don't take any more risks. See you tomorrow. See ya. See ya. Jeez, he's such a big dork. But I suddenly feel really invigorated now. So I guess it wouldn't hurt for a for a jog and exercise a bit before I go home. Burn off the giddiness. Hey guys, was it just me or was there supposed to be some kind of uh scene in the classroom? Or was that one with Saya the scene? Hmm. Not sure, just uh curious. I, I'm I, you guys tell me I did everything right, so I just want to make sure I'm down the right path. Anyway. Here, one second. Sorry about that, just clearing my sinuses. Alright. Oh man, being able to have a lazy day again feels so nice. I spent the past week working my ass off and doing my best to catch up on my studies again. Having ambitions is such a chore, although I'm mostly doing this out of spite at this point. Just wanting to show Shuichi up since he's always nagging me to put in more effort in my studies. Ugh, he's such a goody two-shoes, it's really annoying. I mean, I love the dude to death and he's a really good example most of the time, but dear god, stop preaching to me so much. And here I am, my weekend has barely just begun, and my thoughts somehow have already floated to him. Great. I hate this. I really, really hate this. The sound of footsteps echoes from the staircase. I raise my head up from the couch where I'm lying down and where I'm lying down and try to have a look to see if it's either Aki or Mom that's coming down. You're up early. My younger brother's painfully neutral face welcomes me, not even a hint of a smile at seeing me. I went to bed early last night. I noticed. You've been going to bed a lot earlier, even before me sometimes. I can barely even stay awake anymore. My brain is way too overwhelmed. It's embarrassing to admit, but I've grown so used to slacking off that suddenly being all gung-ho about studying on top of practicing every day has, has me mentally exhausted. You barely even properly function and you're already overwhelmed? That doesn't bode well. Hey, I'll have you know that I've been studying a lot recently. Oh, that's new. Did you hit your head on something? How about you have a little more faith in me? I'm just trying this new thing where I try to be a good student again. Crazy, I know. Smite just brightened up Mom's day when she hears about it. Why do you suddenly look so smug about it? No reason. Stupid little brat, you're lucky I love you. Do you have no plans for today? I'm surprised you guys aren't getting together this weekend. What with it being the first the first free, first free one after midterms and all? 
We had to make plans for tomorrow. We're going out to celebrate Keiko's birthday, which I totally forgot was a thing. Oh, I didn't know that either. Maybe I should ask Sayani for his number so I can uh, wish him happy birthday. What is this? Oh, okay. Profiles. Oh, nice. I had completely forgotten there were profiles. What is this? Who have we got? Aki. Oh, it's cute. Aki, you're a little cutie, Aki. However, is not afraid to show some between like Kitty Uchi's antics. Okay. Alrighty. You know, it worries me that you have all my friends' numbers. Not all of them. I just told you I don't have Kasuk Sans. Uh, not what I meant. Don't you have you don't you have don't you have friends of your own? I see you talking to mine more than anything. You think I just spend all time all my time alone when I'm at school or at the tennis club or just hanging out? Just because you don't have any have my friends, just because you don't know my friends doesn't mean they don't exist. I've had this discussion before. I still think I should get to know your friends. Make sure they're a good influence on you and all that. No. Why not? Because I said no. I don't need a reason, just no. I swear to god, one of these days I'll lose my patience and I'll smack you around a little bit for good measure. So I like to think, but realistically, there's no way I'd ever be able to hurt Aki. Uh, curse, <coughs> curse my conscience for being such a pain in the ass. Well, I'll get Kasich Sand's number later. I need to get some food, and then I'll be going. You're going out? Yeah, to the club. If I want to do better in the competitions, then there's no way around it other than practicing more. Aw, oh, look at you being so diligent. It's cute. It's to be expected. I'm only really doing the bare minimum. Speaking of which, if you have a lazy Saturday, shouldn't you be practicing too? This kid is way too blunt. It hurts. Sometimes you just need a day off to recharge. Studying is hard and all that. It's nice that you're bothering to study now and all that, but that's the same thing I do. And I managed to do it while also having to cram school on top of it. You can afford to practice some more, too. Would you stop policing everything I do? You're not, you're not our mother. You're my younger brother. Excuses, excuses. You're so not cute at all. I don't want to be cute. But, but I didn't say... It's written all over your face. You're pretty easy to read sometimes. I hate this. My phone pipes up from the table, announcing to me that someone has sent me a message. Hang on a second, I've got to check this out. Sure, I'm going to go eat something. Aki, Aki walks off to the kitchen, opening the fridge door and checking inside. I reach down to the coffee table, grabbing my phone and laying back down on the couch. Hey, it's a message from Shuichi. Huh? Morning. You free today? Could use your help. Huh. That's odd. Shuichi never asked me help for help with anything, to the point that it's mildly infuriating. Sure, what do you need? Um, pick you up in 20. Uh-oh. But, wait, that's... <coughs> that's not an explanation! Ah, oh, screw it, at least I have plans now. Aki, I'm gonna be heading out in about 20 minutes. I speak loudly so he can hear me from the kitchen, getting up from the couch to go up to my room, wanting to give myself a quick brushing to make sure I'm presentable. Thank God I took a bath as soon as I woke up. All right, I'll be out of the house in ten. So you have to lock up after you leave. Alrighty, let's pause it right here. Damn it, I keep forgetting. Okay, there we go. Yes, okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks. Your tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!